we're going to do another upgrade to the 2022 CVO Street Glide. One thing I can't stand about this bike, and there's not a lot that I can't stand, it's a beautiful bike, is this dumbass license plate. Oh no, maybe I should cover it. Somebody's going to get my information. I don't know why some guys do that. You want to know where I live, I'll tell you. So this this thing is terrible. I, I just, it doesn't go. So I'm going to remove that. And we're going to go with the uh, Paul Yaffe Bagger Nation Stealth 3 license plate frame. So let's unbox this and see what this is all about. box in a box. Okay, I believe this is to protect the uh, fender against that frame. We have instructions. I may actually read these. I haven't read instructions yet. Okay. Let's see this. Pictures. Pictures. I like pictures. Look at that. This may actually be easier to do. There's pictures. Okay. And we have a template. Hope I don't need that. Inside the box. Couple screws. Couple more screws. And more screws. A little rubber washer. And a power plug, I guess, for the uh, light. And some heat shrink. Okay. Inside the bubble wrap. We got a plastic bag. Inside the plastic bag. We got the actual frame. Frame. I got the black version, of course. What I'm concerned about is where my uh, my year, my uh, expiration date goes. It's gonna be covered up. Uh, okay. Okay. To put my license in here, we have to take off. I think there's ten screws. One, two, three, four. Okay, ten screws. I take this off so I can mount the frame, uh, the plate, before we mount it on a bike. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Screws this size, you want to make sure that you have a little uh, magnetic dish. These will definitely find their way to Never Never Land. <sighs> okay, so apparently there's a couple issues with this. Well, first of all, you want the LED strip on the bottom, so it kind of shows the license plate better. I mean, you can do the top, but I think the bottom would be better. Now, my plate, I don't know how every other state is, it doesn't line up right. So I'm going to have to trim this plate a little bit to line up. And then you have this, so I'm going to have to trim the plate to get the wire through. That's kind of stupid. I don't know why they don't make a way to put it through. Right, so I got to do a little bit of uh, snip snipping. So I'll be back in a minute. Found a pair of these tin snips that actually survived my first marriage. Anyway, what I did was I, I just cut this little recess here so the wire could come out. And the rest will fit, it looks like. You 
you see all the screws are covered so if I do like that it should be fine so let's see what we get for those of you that took chemistry I forget does the nucleus revolve around the uh, th this is almost at the subatomic level how the hell they make screws this small and expect a grown man to put these in make sure you have one of those magnetic <laughs> magnetic dishes or you're gonna have a hell of a time doing this and don't use a power screwdriver or a coiler screwdriver which will strip these screws real quick I I happen to have found out because uh, a friend told me not because I did it so make sure you uh, don't do that so use a, use a uh, regular screwdriver and then once these are all in thing is you can get away doing what I did you're probably better off snipping all the way around the plate I really don't want to ruin that plate in case I decide not to use this later on so I'm missing two screws because I didn't snip the plate there but this is this not going anywhere I was able to get my sticker in oh my god don't look at my license plate somebody might track me down uh, still don't get why everybody does that but anyway this is ready to go. You gotta take this, peel it off, put it on here to protect your uh, um, rear fender. Let's look at what we gotta do under here. I believe, I haven't looked at the instructions yet, but I don't even know. How, there's two screws behind here, I guess. Okay, underneath, this is what I'm afraid of. I'm old, so I gotta get a blanket. <clears throat> okay, looking underneath here, let's see what we have. Oh, it's actually comfortable. So that's that bolt's gotta come out. That bolt comes out, this whole thing should pop out. I'll let you know what size bolt it is in a minute. Okay, this is 7 16 oh. okay. 7 16 nut is out. Down. Okay, let's see what's on the top. Oh, God. Okay. Well, you missed it, but this pops right off. This thing pops right off. Just, just two little things there. I remove these two screws, and the whole thing should come off. Okay, Torx T27 will do the job. Should come right off now. I should really read instructions. Ah. All right. What, what I figured out is is this is a, a protective case here. It snaps up. I don't know how to get the top part off. It looks like it's screwed in, and I, I can't get to it so I'm not gonna force it but underneath if you can see that's I'm assuming that has to get unhooked so we can get this out so I'm gonna try that now There's some access to this just gotta figure out how it hooks right here looks like yeah okay once I got that out of the way it's a lot easier I still can't get this fucking thing off got it Oh. All right, that's what it looks like. Hopefully this is videoing because I can't even tell the camera setup. That's what it looks like. We gotta unhook that to get this out. What a bitch. Oh. 
should just pop out now. Thank you. That's the culprit. Okay. That's what we're left with. Let's figure out the rest. Okay. Uh, now we got a drill. It's a quarter inch drill. Um, these two existing screw holes. Let's screw bolt. We got to drill those out. So the instructions say quarter inch. We're going to drill those out. And we're going to feed the new screws from the back into to the uh, Paul Yaffe plate. Do that real quick. Well, I'm glad the tire wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. Luckily, it doesn't reach the tire. Be careful when you do this. slower on this one okay this piece is only kind of glued on so it wouldn't hold up which makes it easier now because now I can just drill it out on the, on the uh, on the vise through here probably not the right way to do it but yeah that should work It comes with a few different sets of screws. I'm not sure which will work. I'm taking the, the bigger washers out of this set with the, with the brass bolt. And I'm going to use these bolts here instead of the longer ones. Because I took out that metal piece. <laughs> took this metal piece out, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to go right, right to the uh, fender. See how that works. Fits. Feed that through. I'll start feeding Get these screws through. Okay, I'm about to save a lot of you a whole shitload of trouble if you're trying to install the Paul Yaffe license plate frame on a 2022 CBL. Street Glide, I don't think it makes a difference. But, now I don't know if this applies to early year models, but according to these instructions, uh, watch this video. <clears throat> Alright, instead of doing it step by step, I'm going to tell you what to do. Because I made some mistakes on this, because the instructions are older, it doesn't apply to this model. And basically what they're telling you to do, to re you got to remove the first, you got to remove the license, which is this piece here so this is what it looks like you basically have two bolts behind this with a screw out from the front this unclips underneath and i'm going to show you the video on that but i'm just giving you the rundown first this unclips you got to unclip it which they don't tell you the instructions you got to find it you have to unclip it to get this out once this is out they tell you to drill two holes into this metal plate. Now, let me get this metal plate if you're, uh, so you can see what I did with it. So underneath the bike, you have this metal plate. This plastic piece slides over the uh, connection, the electrical connection. So this comes back down. So anyway, this slides over it. These are the two metal pieces that go to your license plate frame. What the instructions tell you to do is drill out. Of course, my dog has to bark now. Always, he knows I'm on video. 
So you got to drill these two out, quarter inch, so you can continue to use this. The problem is, why? Why do you got to bark at everybody? So anyway, you have to drill these two holes out, quarter inch. I couldn't get through it. I don't know, maybe my drill's not powerful enough. But the thing is, it's not even that. If I did get through, it doesn't matter. This is glued on to the fender. So it popped off because the, the, it's just glued. There's nothing else holding this on to the fender. Getting back to this. So basically, there's nothing holding this on except for glue. So I removed this. And you have the two holes in the fender. So I removed that. You have two holes in the fender. All I did was use the bolts that came from the kit with a bigger washer and just back fed it through that. Now, I did that, reconnected it. I may put a zip, pot, zip tie to uh, hold the uh, wire connection, but now it's on perfectly. You just gotta use uh, either a 10 inch wrench, for the, actually a 10 inch, uh, 10 inch. Use a number 10 wrench for the back of the bolt. You feed it through, you tighten them up on both sides, and you're good to go. I have the LED on the bottom. You can do top or bottom. That's it. It's a lot of aggravation, but if I would have known these steps ahead of time, I could have saved myself a lot of trouble. So if I knew these steps ahead of time, I could have saved a lot of trouble and heartache. But unfortunately, the instructions don't show you that. There's no videos on it. So basically, that's what I did. I'm going to show you in a video real quick what I'm talking about underneath. So basically, that's what you see where the glue is up there. So there's the clip. I might zip tie it. I don't think it's going to hit the tire anyway, but I probably will zip tie it. The two bolts back into that, and you're good, and there's the wire. I just got to put this bolt back on. I don't even know what that does. I forgot why I took it off. But anyway, that's it. Just the easier way is pop that metal piece out. Just put it directly, and you're good to go. And that's why you don't have to risk uh, damaging your fender when you drill it. All right. I'm going to stay down here on the ground for a while. Because I'm old, it's hard to get up. Blood's rushing to my head, so I have to get up. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Ride safe. Hit the like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next.